to that and today we're going to be making a chocolate poke cake. This kind of cake is really simple to make if you have a cake base. And as I'm making a chocolate poke cake, I'm going to have a chocolate base. You can use the cake base of your flavor which you like and then you prepare a few fillings and you pour that on. That's it. It's very simple to make. So let's get started. First, let's start by making the chocolate cake base. For that, into a large mixing bowl add in 2 eggs and then start beating that. In between, gradually add half a cup of sugar. I'm adding it in as 3 portions. In goes the final portion and then beat it until it turns white and pale in color. Once it reaches that state, add in half a cup of oil. And again beat that well. Once that's beaten in, let's set the mixer aside. Then add in 5 tablespoons of all-purpose flour, 3 tablespoons of cocoa powder, half a teaspoon of baking powder and half a teaspoon of baking soda, 1 fourth of a teaspoon of almond extract. You can also use vanilla extract instead of it. Then slowly start folding that in. Make sure you don't be harsh with this because we don't want to deplete any air bubbles that we had packed in while beating the eggs. Slowly fold that in until everything is incorporated well. Now once that's mixed in well, scrape down the sides and let's set this batter aside for just a minute. Now I have a square baking tray over here and it's a glass one. I greased it with some butter and then I dusted it with flour. Make sure you don't use parchment paper because we're not going to flip the cake over and take the parchment paper out we're just going to use it like that so if you use parchment paper it's going to come into your bite which we don't want then let's pour the cake batter in now just move the tray here and there to get everywhere evened out and then let's pop this in a preheated oven for baking now my cake has baked well, it looks so perfect, let's insert a skewer in between and see whether that comes out clean and if it does then you know that the cake is perfect. Now let's set this aside for cooling. My cake is cooling, meanwhile I have half a cup of condensed milk, it's sweetened and then I'll add 60 grams of chocolate and microwave it for a minute. Once that's microwaved, give that a good mix and incorporate both of them in. Then let's set this also aside for a few minutes. Now my cake has cooled, let's poke holes in this cake. You can use any sort of thing that you feel comfortable to poke holes. And the more the holes are, the better the cake will be because the condensed milk will be absorbed by these holes. Then pour in the condensed milk batter. First make sure you pour it through the holes and then you can work it out the sides. Then, using a spatula or anything, just spread it towards the ends and cover the full cake with it. This does not have to be perfect. Now let's pop this in the refrigerator until we make the whipped topping. And for making that, I have 1.5 cups of whipping cream. Let's start beating that until it has soft peaks. Only soft peaks do not go with stiff peaks or else when we add the cocoa powder and the sugar it's gonna become more stiff and it won't move at all. So now you can see there are soft peaks. Let's add in 4 tablespoons of cocoa powder and then beat that again. Then 
Then let's add in around 5 to 6 tablespoons of milk and beat that up again. Just behind that add in half a cup and 3 tablespoons of icing sugar. Mix that well and if you feel the consistency is too thick you can add a little bit more of milk. Finally, this should be the consistency. It should be at stiff peaks. Now let's set the mixer aside. Then let's fold that in. In between, just scrape down the sides too. It should not be too thick or too thin. It should just be spreadable. Now I've took the cake out of the refrigerator. Let's add a nice dollop of the whipped cream that we made. And then spread it here and there. I'm using an offset spatula for this. You can add the cream according to the requirement. Then, if you feel it is not enough, you can add more of it and spread that again. Now, it is spread very well. Now let's pop this in the refrigerator for 2 hours until everything sets. Now that's out of the refrigerator. Let's sprinkle that up. I'm using a few chocolate chunks. You can use chocolate chips, chocolate sprinkles or anything. Now let's cut into this cake. It's better if you wipe the knife after each cut to get cleaner cuts. And then let's take a piece out of it. You can see that looks so good. You can see all the layers, the cake, the condensed milk and finally the whipped cream. Thank you so much for watching hope you liked it and if you did please don't forget to give me a big thumbs up down below also subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet thanks once again and bye bye